Good morning, peace and love. My name is Kimberly Wright. Welcome to the acronym MSOOM, Making Something Out of Nothing. It's the class all about recycling and upcycling crafts. Uh, sorry, we're going to be recycling and upcycling found objects and things that would, could possibly be trash, but you could turn to treasure. So uh, today uh, we're going to be Go ahead and start in our project that I gave you your uh, supplies and materials list last week. I'm just going to quickly go over that for those of you that did not get the supplies. Uh, pretty much it looks like everybody is. I see some of the same people in the class from last week. However, I will just say what it is you're supposed to have. All right. So I asked you all to get some old CDs. You know, I have about five or six here just to start with. Good job, Miss Jean. <laughs> um, I've already been working with some cardboard, but however you see, I even have a piece of cardboard here that I'm recycling. Good job, good job. Um, I said that you could have either glue. I have Elmer's glue. And I also have my glue gun, so you can use either or, it's up to you. All right. Uh, I have my scissors. So you all are supposed to have some scissors out there. I also have a ruler, just in case I need it. Um, this protractor I have, this is optional tractor. All right, we're supposed to have some yarn or string. I do have both, so um, I'm not particularly ready for that particular material yet, but I do have the yarn. I have a black Sharpie. And the paint that I said that I was gonna use, you can use any shade of paint. You can use multiple colors or one if you like. I'm gonna just use black spray paint. So that's what I have here. Also, you need, uh, if you haven't already made your paper tubes, you're going to need a dowel, a medium sized dowel to make about 40 magazine tubes, rolling, uh, rolling your paper tubes. And I have those as well. Although I've only painted one side, as you can see, I have to paint the opposite side. Good job. Good job. I see you got some with Jean and Miss Betty. Excellent. Great job. All right. So I guess the most difficult part would be to uh, figure out what shape you all are going to create. And I'm going to basically just kind of create about three projects at the same time. So we all can work together as pertains to what we're doing. First, I want to um, say that uh, once again, you can get, you can use all sorts of simple type shapes. You can use like the shape, the head of a Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse, or uh, you can use a rabbit or a diamond or, you know, like geometric shapes, like a star. And um, uh, just so many different things. So, so far I'm gonna get this art board. And it's not gonna be that large. I guess you'll be able to tell the uh, size of it from, uh, looking at the size of it from with my hand. So I have this wooden uh, circle that I'm just going to uh, make a moon out of. So I just want to make a moon 
out of the card or and once again you all have to figure out what you're actually going to make as it pertains to your design if you want to go ahead and make a move go ahead and do so it's not that large it's not that small it's like a medium size and all i'm doing is actually uh, let's come closer All I'm doing is actually just tracing half of this uh, circle. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm gonna put the other, I'm gonna slide the circle over just until I get the actual thickness of the moon that I like. And then I'm gonna trace that edge. And I'm just going to take a look at it. Um, I think that's pretty good. So I was just using this actually to trace out a shape. And I just decided to, although I already have two more shapes, I just wanted to actually show you how to execute uh, getting a shape out. And now I'm going to actually cut that out. It's really easy or it's not that hard to cut cardboard however if you're having any issues like your hands hurting or anything like that just simply take your time go as slow as you need to all right so i like to just cut on around that so i can get the piece away from the rest of the cardboard and i'm going to continue to cut right on my line Nice, neat, and smooth. And as you can see, I have to cut this part out. And for this particular piece, I'm going to need two of these. So I just want to show you if you have an option how to make something on a more smaller uh, level and then how to make something more on a larger scale. So I would say this is medium, but it's more of a smaller project. Meaning the moon is a medium sized moon, but this is still a smaller project. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and trace another one on this cardboard because I need two moons for the front and the back side of what I'm making. Ended up going on the top of that, which it doesn't matter because I'm gonna uh, paint it anyway. All right, so there's my second moon. And I wanna go ahead and Cut that out as well. Okay, just continue to cut. And I wanna speak with you all to see if you have any ideas about what you're actually gonna be making. So what I'm actually creating is, I mean, I guess you can figure out uh, actually what it is you really wanna make. However, the pieces with the CDs are going, going to basically be mosaics. And you can create what you want to create in a functionality type of style. So as you can see, I have two moons for my front side and back side of what I'm making. And 
what am I making? I'm making, uh, so that was just to show you, excuse me, how to basically get the shape uh, out of your uh, cardboard, what you need. And I'll go ahead and show you what I've already prepared. So I'm basically doing three projects in all. And two of them are going to be, uh, as you can see, I have two hearts. And you can see the size of it compared to my hand. It's like my hand can fit on it, so it's not that large. And I have two hearts that are going to be front and back like so. And then I have the two moons. And so these two projects are going to be uh, wind chimes. You are welcome to be creative and make what you want. However, if you want to stick to the instructions of the project, please feel free to do so. Also, I'm going to make a decorative, I'm going to make decorative wall art with this particular circle. And you can see how large this is. It's about, I can fit my hand on it four times and see it's larger than my head. <laughs> Funny that I found something that even be larger than my head. <laughs> Just joking. All right. So this is a circle. However, I'm going to make a beautiful piece of a wall art, and it's this is going to represent a uh, a globe, like the world. So as I, what I'm going to do with this piece is put the continents on here, and. Uh, I'm going to build up to this piece. So I have to get my continent images drawn out. And for the moon and the, the heart, what I want to do is basically also use this cardboard to uh, put out a few different shapes that are going to uh, hang from the bottom of the piece. And I would say probably about four or five pieces would be sufficient. So what I'm going to do is draw, for example, from the bottom of my heart, I think I'm gonna have some smaller hearts hanging. And from the bottom of my moon, I think I'm gonna have some uh, stars, probably some stars hanging. So, uh, and, yes, ma'am. Uh, you know that mask that you have right there over you? Yes, ma'am. I want to create that. Right, that one. But I, I, I don't think I want to do all that. But I just want this part in here. This part in where, Miss Jean? See right here, just the face part. Could I do that and cut that out? Well, do you have an image like that? Yes. Okay, good. So, uh, hold on one second. Here's the image. I mean, here's the, here's the, I wanted to do this one. This is, this is not a good one. I mean, I bought it, but I want to make a mask like this out of the cardboard. I think that'd be perfect. Oh, good. So what I would do is, I don't know, I don't know if you want it on a um, smaller scale, than that or of just about the same size. However, I would, uh, I probably would just trace it on the okay. cardboard and cut it out like that. And then- That's what I, I was cutting. Yeah, then I would probably go ahead and um, paint it a solid color. Okay. Yeah. And so even though we are just using, uh, this is mainly CD art. I want you all to be open to the fact that you can use different materials, but be mindful that the CDs are something that's gonna look like mirror, like mirrored mosaics. So you wanna have something that looks aesthetically good with mirrors, like maybe some kind of bling, yeah, different stuff. Or if, and, and, and just like I said, I said uh, to paint your uh, cardboard a solid color, but be, very uh just go ahead and go wild and if you want to use more than one color on your piece 
do that as well. Uh, anybody else know or uh, have interest in whatever? I mean, uh, know what kind of sh uh, shape they're going to create? And if you're going to create more than one. But right now, I'm making two wind chimes or two pieces to hang. And uh, uh, sorry, and that glow piece is going to be like a wall hanger, just something decorative that you hang on the wall. All right. And so with the CDs, always just be mindful that you have the type of CDs with the iridescent or the multicolored look. And then you have the ones that are just silver. They still have that iridescent look, but they mainly are just silver. And so I would just probably, you know, like sometimes we keep uh, little boxes or those little styrofoam meat containers just something that you're probably going to throw away to, to separate your CD pieces in, you know, like to have your multicolored ones uh, in one container and have the regular ones in another container. And all you have to do if you're not able to cut with your CDs, uh, sorry. So now we're going to go into cutting these CDs and um, depending on how. Uh, Depending on how small your cardboard pieces is, is depending on how small you want your CD pieces to be. And so all you have to do, you can, uh, it's your choice to take something and separate the paper from the front of the piece. That's your choice. You can leave it there and separate it. Sometimes those are just uh, like stickers that are on there that'll come right off. And so anyway, you wanna just take the CD and kind of just start, take your time and cut. Sometimes on the other side, if you want to uh, have specific cuts, excuse me, have specific cuts, then you can draw uh, the shape out on the back of the CD. Like so. So you can draw lines like so and cut along those lines as well. It's your choice. So I'm just gonna cut some more of this particular CD. And if you're not able to cut, you can sit it down on the table as well and cut like so. Just take your time. I like to hold it because it helps me just kind of guide and get a better, uh, a better cut off of it. And so as you can see, you see the pieces that I'm sort of cutting, but I also want to make some smaller pieces being that my piece, uh, my cardboard is not that large. So you have your work cut out for you here. With cutting CD pieces, I think mainly once you get those pieces cut out, um, you can kind of just start to work. And so at least I do want to get a couple of pieces out here to show you how uh, these things will be placed. So I'm just continuing to cut the disc. Any uh, sharp shards, I just go ahead and take those off. Are they the same size of different shapes? Or how are you doing that? They're different sizes and different shapes. Okay. All right. It doesn't even matter because we're using them as mosaics. Uh, this particular centerpiece right here, it's your choice if you want to leave that or cut it off. I'm choosing to cut it off. Okay. 
So I'm going to show you up close my pieces so that you can see that they're all different. And sometimes like this rounded edge might come in handy depending on what you uh what you're actually uh doing. For example, when I get ready to go around this heart, I might use those rounded edges to go around that way to curve with the curves of the actual heart. All right, this might have to cause you to sweep a little bit, which is fine because some of us probably need to sleep, sleep anyway, which I grew up sleeping pretty much every day. Um, all right, so I just want to trim, actually not trimming, I'm cutting some of these larger pieces down smaller. And then I'm going to show you how to apply some of the pieces. And I'm continuing to cut that center circle out. I don't like how it looks. So, I mean, it might look good to some of you as far as like another level of mirror or something like that. But for right now, I'm just cutting mine away. All right, so even though I've cut one CD, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the sizes of those. And I really would like to get another one cut out, but this is how, these are the different sizes that I have so far. And you can see them compared to my fingertips, pretty small. Different, I just cut them. All right. So from there, I guess, once again, the main thing you have to concentrate on doing is getting your, um, the design. What shape are you going to make as it pertains to your cardboard? Is it gonna be an ice cream cone? Is it gonna be a heart, you know? Anybody have any ideas out there? What you're gonna do? So this particular CD, I drew lines on the back just to have something to, uh, a guide to go by. So that's what I was saying to you. You can draw the lines or you can just freestyle and cut the pieces out. So once you probably cut one CD, your hand probably gonna be a little sore or hurting a little bit. So all you have to do is just rest. Cause I'm actually feeling like my hand, I think I should rest after the second CD. Rest my hand, massage it or something like that. Just take your time and mostly have yeah. fun with it. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Do all the all the CD shapes have to be the same? No, that's what I was just saying to you all. You won't. I missed it. It's Sorry. Okay. I said you want all different kind of shapes. So I'm just okay. styling, cutting. I said you can draw the lines out and follow the lines as a guy, or you can just okay. cut. So this right. is a piece right here. You see what a silver. The clear part was in the center of the circle. I'm right. actually opting to cut those off. I think it'll look better just with the actual piece of the CD. And I'm actually just gonna cut these pieces down right here where the, the clear part was. I'm cutting that off. And I'm gonna just cut these pieces down some. Yeah, I'm cutting all kind of different shapes, Miss Jean. Okay. I even just cut out a little bit of piece like this. You can have small pieces, really large pieces. I mean, not really large pieces, I'm sorry, different shapes. You want, you want the piece to be able to look like it can fit on your cardboard proportionally. Sometimes your CDs may split a little. Uh, I don't know how many CDs you have to spare or maybe you can ask somebody 
if they have any CDs to spare, but once you, some CDs will kind of like split a little like this. Mm -hmm. Now it's up to you if you want to use those or cut, cut those off, depending on how it's yeah. gonna make the piece look neat or store-bought, it's up to you once again if you want to use those. So I'm almost done with this. And what I recommend is to start to place the pieces on your cardboard before you actually glue them down, unless you just feel like you have a sense of feeling uh, where the pieces should go, then feel free. But however, I like to find the places since it's a mosaic and it should kind of fit snug close together. I like to uh, find where I'm going to place the pieces before I actually glue them down. So being that I have two sides of each of these wind chimes to do or wall hang ceiling hangers to do, I'm going to, uh, I might do a design on one side and just mosaic one side regular. And so what I'm going to do now is just kind of start to fit pieces here. And I'm gonna utilize my round edges by keeping just a small border out from the out from the edge and utilizing my round pieces as I uh, go around, so to speak, the curves. So as you can see, I'm already picking up the pieces that have the curved edge finding an appropriate place to kind of sit them. And if I need to cut particular pieces that'll fit uh, right into a particular space once I get everything laid out, you can do that as well. Cut pieces that are actually fit where you need it. And so I'm just gonna show you so far what I've already done. You see how good the mirror or the, the CD looks good on top of the black. For me, that's why I chose to use a dark color so that the contrast of the mirror would really show up. So actually that's really spaced out. I'm gonna just continue to go on until I uh, feel the piece completely out. And you want to uh, put the pieces fairly close, but still have them uh, separated to give that mosaic look. You can always move things around. So you just continue to build And as you can see already, how many CDs you probably will need because I've already almost used up two on this particular piece. I see a center piece that I did not cut off. Uh, I think I'm gonna cut that off. It doesn't look that good to me. All right, and continue right on going. So how beautiful is that as it as you continue to go, you know, to place these pieces down. So as you can see, I need to place pieces here in these smaller areas. All I have to do is cut a piece of the uh 
CD mm -hmm. I did I already have down in place pieces like so. That's all you have to do. And so once you have everything kind of just sitting there to see how it looks, once you have everything full, you can go ahead and lift everything up. Not, I would in, lift it up individually and then start to actually glue it down. But so far, I'm gonna play with that a little bit more to get my pieces maneuvered where they need to be. And also, I'm going to use a few of these clear and the, the pieces that have the uh, multicolored look, switch them around and spread them out. All right. So if what I plan on doing next week is at least having my uh, moons, my two moons painted black. And I'm going to have uh, the two parts covered with the CDs. And don't forget, if you are making the mosaics, oh, sorry, the wind chimes or the wall hangers, you need to make four or five smaller shapes of like hearts for the heart piece and maybe something like stars for the moon piece if you want to do that. So it just depends as it pertains to a functionality piece what you uh, are actually making. Um, anybody have any comments? or questions or something to share out of um, so far what I've basically taught. Yes, ma'am, Miss Jean. I, I cut my pieces out while you were talking. Okay, let's, okay, good. Hold good, on, okay. let me see that close up. Let me spotlight you. Are they fitting really good? Okay. So just because uh, you want to paint those next, yes, ma'am, just because they have like a, you just want to make sure they both basically fit uh, the same. Okay. And not just kind of trim them up or whatever, but okay. uh, to go ahead and paint them. And I would just say mainly it's just going to take time, but go ahead and um, get your CD pieces cut out. And um, okay. figure out what color or colors you want to use for the mask. If it's like black, once again, I said that the CD, the CDs will really stand out uh, with black. And I did show you my magazine paper tubes. We're going to use those as well. The magazine paper tubes I'm going to be using with the piece that I'm making with the globe, the wall art. So if you want to I'll show you the uh, size of my wind chime opposed to the wall art because you might want to do both. I don't know. But this is my, this is the size of my, sorry. This is the size of my wind chime. Once again, it's probably just about the size of my hand. And you see how large this wall art piece is. So if you want to, do a, a smaller something like a wind chime and do another piece, it's up to you. But for the paper tubes, this is the piece that I'm gonna use the paper tubes with. The string and the yarn will be used with the wind chimes. So remember I said to have some kind of string or yarn, that's what that is for. So um, you have your work cut out for you, you have to uh, cut it, find out what design or shape you are actually going to use and you have to paint those pieces make your tools and you have to gather some cds and cut those out 
which I've already started. We just have fun with that. Anybody have any other thing to share or say? So you got your moon, Miss Betty? Yeah, I think it needs to be a little bit wider. Okay. So yeah, that's why when I that's when I actually when I actually yeah. set the circle down, that's mm -hmm. when I said make sure to pull it over and look at it, make sure it's the thickness that you need before you actually cut it out. So I don't know. I feel like yeah. just go ahead and do it again. It's just cardboard. You can go ahead and you know make another one. Mm -hmm. But you know, as far yeah, as this a really good uh, circle, you can use a plate. If you don't have some type something, you can use a bucket, anything that has a circle of shape, you know, uh, trace. Yeah, out. I have a. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. so trace out one side of it, it, slide it over to the thickness that you mm -hmm. like, and trace that. But that's so, Kim, your, okay. your boom is about the widest part, it's about what, four or five inches? Talking about of the moon. Uh -huh. Yes. It is. Four. Okay. Four exactly. Yes. Yes. And I would say from the length, it is about 10 and a half. Thank you. Yep, it's about 10 and a half. 10 and a half by four. All right, so this project will be over before you know it. Like, uh, I guess just go ahead and get the things that you need prepped and, you know, you can do a little bit of work before the next class and we'll see how that goes. Yes, Miss Jean? Yes, ma'am. When you take the um, CD, we cut it out. Can I put this and let it extend beyond? Or do you, uh, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Could it go out? I feel like whatever you're asking, uh -huh. I'm showing you how to do a basic mosaic, you can be creative and take it a step further just to see whatever you can. Yeah, meaning like. Well, I, well, I was looking at your at your mask. You notice at the top, it has that sticking, you know, it's kind of hair like. I was thinking maybe I could put that around the top with my with my CD cutouts. Yeah, that'd be fine. It's Great. like, a, it's actually, a, it's actually people. Oh, little people, but it's actually representing to a crown. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. So I once can't. again, it's actually little people. Oh, um, oh, that's pretty. Okay. But it's representing the crown. Yeah. Um, right. Little people. Any more questions, comments? Miss Fury, you have any idea what you're gonna make? Yes. What what you gonna make? No, I'm not telling. Oh, okay. oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. She's a true artiste. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and start to get those pieces together for next class. And then um, after we have our, um, if anybody have any questions or comments about what they need to do next class, that'll be fine. But we should probably have some things glued down and then I'll show you how to put everything together. And so uh, I think I'll be ready to start on that globe piece next week as well. All right. Well, I had a wonderful short time today. Um, we've been in class for like 45 minutes. And I'm very curious to see what Miss Etheria is going to come up and what that mask is going to look like, Miss Jean. Woo <laughs> I have to get something done. I'm I'm way behind on projects. It's okay. I'm behind on a little bit. I think I'm pretty much like 90% on my cardboard paintings. 
like the one we did last week with the water and the snow and stuff, but that's at the facility. That's why I'm not able to finish them. And I think I'm about 90% finished on my shelves, those cardboard shelves, but I have some stuff that I have to go back on as well. The reason why class is just kind of like pushing along is because it's not like we in the classroom setting and we can just sit there and do our projects week after week. Um, since I'm doing the videos, then I have to produce something each class. But uh, like you, as you can see, if we're not finished with a particular project in the class as well, on the videos, I continue them on. Yeah, because we've done like part one, part two, part three. So uh, we'll continue that next class. And I think it's going to come out really beautiful and just have fun with it. You can add other materials. Let me see what you got. And um, my name is Kimberly Wright. Thank you for joining Making Something Out of Nothing, the class all about recycled crafts. I'll see you next week. Have a wonderful and blessed day and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.